Hey Peaky people, so I have an update for you about Reese here. As you can see, Reesey Bear is still with us. Reesey! Oh, where are you being? So today is Wednesday. Hi, BB. How are you? How are you doing? Can you tell everybody you're feeling pretty good? Now, I don't want everybody to get their hopes up because I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I'll tell you what's going on. So today is Wednesday. Last week Wednesday was when my vet cut open her abscess and flushed it out. And at that time her abscess was about the size of a plum, like a small plum, but really disgusting. And that was a Wednesday, but already by like the Thursday, Friday, it was starting to fill back up again along her jaw. And by like Saturday, I think it was, like she had a lump that was probably the size of a grape and getting bigger underneath her chin again. So it wasn't good. And then on the Sunday, she was miserable because all the pressure was coming back and she wasn't eating properly and was very grumpy and was hiding. So I made the decision that, okay, on my day off, which was going to be the Tuesday, that I would put her to sleep which was a very hard choice to make, but it was in her best interest. Sorry, she's walking away there, and it's all dark back there. So, Monday I came home from work to find that her abscess had opened itself up, up by her jaw. So not the part where my vet had lanced it, that had sealed really quick. So just under her jaw, under her bottom lip, it was a little hole probably about the size of a one mil syringe tip. So I was able to easily flush it. So all the contents had drained out itself. There was a pile on the fleece and her neck was kind of messy. And when I flushed it, it just got a couple specks of pus out, but the rest of it was flushing clear. So then the next morning, she was doing great, was eating non-stop and was super happy and so I flushed her neck again and just a couple more tiny specks of pus came out but nothing else but clear liquid and already the size of the abscess sac felt a tiny bit smaller so I made the decision to cancel her putting to sleep appointment because I wanted to see where this was going to go and I felt like I owed it to her now that she was feeling happier and her body took it upon itself to open up and flush it out. So we have been flushing it ever since and let's see, so Tuesday morning was the last time where anything resembling pus came out which was just a couple tiny pieces and since then it's just been flushing clear saline out and it's gotten smaller and smaller and smaller and now the size of the sack I'd say is smaller than a little pea so it's almost all the way closed like it still has the opening but there's hardly anything that you can put saline into so before I could easily put I don't know like five or six mils before it started spraying out now I can't even get one mil in before it sprays out and she's not tender to touch, like I can touch all along her jaw, I can touch all up her neck and she doesn't react. Um, she lets me pull down her bottom lip to see her incisors and doesn't react, where before you couldn't do any of that stuff without it being very painful. So she's eating normal, drinking normal, very excited for her veggies, she's really happy and laying down comfortable. So I have no clue what to expect, whether this is going to heal up and then just come back if it is a tooth issue but I don't know guys it's kind of just seeing where it goes but if she's happy and acting like her normal self and it's closing up without any pus then you know I'm gonna see where this takes us like part of me wants to be super excited that you know we're gonna be clear of it but another part of me just is anxious to get too excited because what if something starts filling up again later? I don't know what to expect, so. But as for now, uh, I'm really thankful that she's comfortable and happy. So we will take what we can get. And it's just really nice to see her back to laying down in hay piles and eating and eating and eating. 
And Velvet here goes Monday for her 2-3 check. So it's about six weeks ago where she had her teeth trimmed because her front ones were overgrown because one of her bottom incisors was cracked and all weird. She just started, was it this morning or yesterday, um, eating funny, like being picky with what hay she could pick up and doing funny mouth movements. So unfortunately my vet can't get me in any sooner than her appointment Monday. She's still able to eat on her own and I'm hand feeding her extra, but I definitely think obviously there's something in her mouth that's going to need work. I was kind of hoping she didn't, but kind of looks like she's going to need it, which it is what it is. I just hope this time they don't have to grind her incisors down very far because that was a big hassle last time. To get rid of the crack, they had to go back down pretty far and it took her oh, a good three weeks before she was eating fully on her own. So it was really stressful. And then little Autumn here has to wait a bit longer to get introduced to the trio because Annabelle has Bumblefoot starting on her left paw, left front paw. So the other day she started losing weight and I couldn't tell what was the matter at first until she came up to the bars and was climbing the bars and then I could see that her one foot was swollen. You can see she's holding it up right now. So it's not an open sore, but it's swollen. So I've started her on some pain meds and we're doing Epsom salt soaks for her foot. And I'm going to watch it closely. And then I put calendula cream on the bottom after we're done our soaks to keep it nice and moist. And the calendula is supposed to be like an anti-inflammatory properties and antiseptic and all that good stuff. And it just keeps it nice and moist so that hopefully it doesn't crack. But that kind of has put a little bit of a hold on my plans for introducing Autumn. Because obviously I need Annabelle to be feeling 100% because intros get a little wild. So hopefully in a couple weeks. We'll see. And I think that's about all my updates. Here's my gorgeous, gorgeous Reese Bear. So nice seeing her face and her neck not all lopsided and gross with an abscess hanging down. It's just, it's too unreal. So I'm hoping for the best for her. But in the meantime, We'll just take it day by day, and man, am I enjoying the days where she's having a good day. There's baby pig and hucky back there, and little Ray. So we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!